The board focused on if the Dakota Access Pipeline would promote public convenience and necessity. That meant looking at economic and environmental impacts. I agree. They all have they all have inherent risks, and I think uh, when you look at what is planned for construction, those those risks have have been taken into account. But throughout the three-hour meeting, board members showed they still have some questions left, such as on certain issues like energy reliance. Those are the two views. Which, which right. comes first. The pipeline would carry up to 570,000 barrels a day from the Bakken oil fields in North Dakota to Illinois. Right. Members of Iowa right. Citizens for Community Improvement have protested right the pipeline. They say they're frustrated with the process. I think the past four days have indicated that this process is broken and not working for Iowans. Um, so we're going to be going back to the governor with our demand soon. These pipes stopped in Jasper County for the project means incoming work for Iowa unions. The pipeline could bring up to 4,000 construction jobs. You always hear the temporary jobs. Maybe they are, but it temporary jobs lead to long-term careers for our members. While this has been more than a year-long process, Iowans say they appreciate the board's thoroughness. There's still a lot more information to be talked about, um, so it's good that they're taking more time.